What actually does this law say? Well, the law says quite simply that member states can choose whether to make them compulsory so that every uh, supplier of milk is covered by a contract that's set out in the details of the legislation we passed here today, uh, or member states can choose not to. Uh, at the moment, the United Kingdom is, is saying that they are not going to use the compulsory element, but what they have said to the dairy trade and to farmers is get together around the table and come up with a voluntary solution. What I'm saying is that if that fails, the Minister should use the big stick and the threat of compulsory contracts being introduced in the UK to ensure we do get a voluntary agreement. I mean, do you think in that respect, this provision in this new legislation to allow member states, countries, the UK government to impose these compulsory contracts, is that going to be a bit of a trigger, do you think, a bit of a spark underneath those negotiations in the UK? Well, I think it, it will, because if the Minister said that he's willing to use the compulsory element of this, uh, then that will focus uh, both the dairy trade and the farmer representative to ensure that they come up with a voluntary solution that works across the industry. And, and I, and I'm sure many farmers would share my view, would prefer that we actually come up with a voluntary solution that works rather than a whole lot of legislation and red tape and bureaucracy and all the added hassle that that might come up with. So there's a great opportunity here for the industry to come together with the processors and retailers to ensure we get a fair system of uh, selling milk from both farmers right up the food chain and everyone gets a fair share of the return from the consumer. And also consumers will get benefits out of it as well, I would hope, because when prices fall, hopefully they would then see the benefits passed on to them. Uh, whereas in the past, what we've seen is the benefits kept by those in the food chain who've, who are the strongest. So I think there's a real opportunity here to get a voluntary agreement between the industry that ensures a fair distribution of the price throughout the food chain and uh, we don't need the, the bureaucracy of legislation. Uh, but if that fails then, ministers should use the big stick.